After all the work to build forms last week, Monday saw them being taken down. This scene shows pretty well just how much woodwork and timber is involved. Much effort goes into ensuring that recycling features strongly. Some of the large wall forms resist removal, but they all come out eventually. Over on the east side of the site, SDB are building what will become the floor of a mezzanine over the store entrance. It's work that demands skill and constant concentration. All the while, the steady effort to place roof panels continues. Movement of the crane early on Tuesday morning signals that completion of the north wall will now allow the start of the final steelwork. Things prove to work best by turning the crane around. Setup is fairly quick, and before you know it, the crane is once again reaching for the sky. A critical leveling device is placed, allowing checks to begin that establish the need for any spacers and adjustment before columns are installed. It's not very long before the first are in place and a steady stream follow. Wednesday saw Environmental back on site, excavating a new hole by the power vault in the northwest corner. The iron workers of Structure de Bos continued to make rapid progress on the steel installation. And the team from DAC Forming continued to remove wall forms. The iron workers forklift is frequently on the move conveying steel sections from one location to another, amongst other things. Some loads prove easier to manage than others. Before too long, work on the northwest section is complete and the crane can move. Now operating on the east side, the crane was busy filling in the gaps above what will become the entrance. Even as the structural work continues, securing the panels remains a vital task. Elsewhere, the occasional struggle to remove wall forms continues. And the forms never win. Any prize for the pace of progress would have to go to the team from Structure de Bos.
pace of work certainly didn't slacken on Thursday. In the northwest corner, where the base for a pole is being prepared, concrete arrived. Back on the steel side, the crane came to a halt just after one, and it became clear that a move was being prepared. Smart design and experienced operators combine to make the crane relatively easy to prepare for transport. Once the lifting jib is folded into place, a small retraction occurs to lock it. There's a place for every locking pin and a way to secure it. Lowering the weight stacks is an important measure. Interestingly, one of the company pickups is trailed by the crane on its journey home. Friday saw concrete delivered to cover and protect the conduit carrying hydro. This is all work being done for O'Connor Electric, who amongst other things have been installing temporary working lighting inside the roof space. Given the quantity of concrete supplied, it seems quite likely that the power source is safe. It was a concrete kind of day because our delivery was also made to the entrance area. After some final adjustments, the pour begins after testing is successfully completed in the background. There are two small sites involved and all goes well. Job's done in next to no time and then the ready mix truck is off to wash out. It's a routine task, but one that has to be performed well to keep the equipment running efficiently. The week rounded off with some visitors to the site observed, and it will be interesting to see what they bring to the mix. In the meantime, please consider subscribing if you enjoy these updates, and thanks for watching.